Hi, this is a small guide to uh, help you upload properly the content to our Forest Academy website. The first step is to create a Word document with the content that we are going to uh, upload in our FA site. But in order to do it efficiently, we need to we need to separate images at maximum resolution and the document. For example, in this case, I am separating my document, even though, even though my document has the proper images, uh, I also have it at maximum resolution in a folder. So it is very easy to upload it in our site, and as we will see. Well, uh, before doing that, my recommendation, my advice is for you to pass your document through Grammarly. Grammarly is a very nice application that you can download to be used in your, in your web editor or in your Microsoft Office in case you have Windows or as an app in the case of Mac. And uh, in this basic form is very good of course, it is much better to have a subscription for the premium Grammarly, but uh, I think it's uh, at the beginning it is enough for you to check the raw material you produce, passing it through, through Grammarly. I use the standalone version and this is how it works. If the standalone version is very similar to the, the web editor version. Uh, okay, uh, as we see, I throw the document on the Grammarly and uh, the Grammarly start checking the content and giving recommendations for changes. For example, in this case, avoiding uh, to avoid instead of avoiding or a comma that is missed in the theory, in this case, uh, is in theory or, or maybe not, uh, you have to check it. Labeling, for labeling, etc. Mm, you can also ask for synonyms in case you are using the same repetitive word. And uh, for example, you, for example, personally, myself, individually, mentally, especially individually, privately, favor, like, prefer, further, promote, etc. So it is nice for both in bo on both sides. It'll help you uh, better use a better language and it also take out your raw errors. Even if you are an English native English speaking person, it will help you for this kind of small thing like commas and things like that. Or in this case, suggesting a, a point and, and moving and putting a, a dot. And uh, once you are ready, you just export and it will be exported to your folder of interest. And uh, once once it's there, um, you can see that. Uh, sorry, one moment, please. Okay, you can see that it. You get a document full of annotations. So you go to review, reviewing changes, accept changes. accept all changes, excuse me. And in the delete, delete all comments. When you save it again, and after that, you will have a, a document called the same name dot ed edited. So if you go there again, you will have this edited document with the proper 
with everything as is, it was in the ori original, but with your text corrected. Okay, let's go to uh, our backend to do an example. Then we'll, we log in, and after logging in, we go to the dashboard, and to start doing a post, we go to all post, add new, or to new post. And this is the form. The first thing we need to do is to decide where the category of mm, our uh, document uh, for cryptos, crypto analysis, crypto picks, crypto training, crypto update, etc. Education, long term, short term positioning, trading strategies, technical analysis, update and analysis, analytical clips, daily update, editorials, filter clusters etc. So let's suppose we are doing an update in cryptos. So we go to crypto update and click here. Okay, so now we go to our document and uh, double click to open the document and we erase all images from the document. And once erased, we select all, in my case it is Command A and Command Copy. And now I can paste it. And the document is completely pasted. So now we have to enter the title, Daily Crypt update for example and then we could start uploading our media to upload media we upload files select files go to mm, the we take out this one these are all the all the images and we click uploaded to this post so we get only images uploaded to this post well to place to place the image in the proper site we set the cursor in the right place as in in this case is after sitting so we add the media, supposedly be there. This is in this case is this file market cap. And we will use center alignment and link to media file uh, mostly of the time. And next one will be below PTC US dollar here. And uh, this is the one BTC US dollar daily. And as we see, this doesn't change, so we insert again. And uh, if you, for example, want this to be magnified in a new tab, you go to Edit and click Open Link in New Tab. And so on. After we have uploaded all images, we have to set the CEO keyword in this case, maybe it's daily, daily crypto update. We copy that and we set it downward. Focus keyboard. And then we add the tags. Crypto, separated by commas. Cryptocurrencies, for example, this one. Bitcoin. BTC, ETH, ETH, Ripple, XRP, as tax. And you can also add a feature image by set, clicking set feature image and adding an image. 
in the case of Bitcoin, there are some around here. But you could find copyright free images in pexos.com or on splash.com. For example, you, you click uh, Bitcoin, you get Bitcoin related images. very professional in this case is not of course not anymore bitcoin uh, but uh, you get similar images uh, if you click on them etc well once once you have your document ready you could uh, send to publication this is button is not what you will have but a button that say send to publication and we will do our final checks uh, before publishing and we will publish it. Let's see now how to publish a market watch. Okay, the market watch, we add new market watch and uh, this is almost the same as in the post situation and here what we uh, will have a string of no more than 200 characters uh, this is the advice we, we could write a little bit more but 200 is enough and if if we write a sentence here for example market is up for the day and we publish that for you we could make a, a title market up you can publish it directly we can make the sale of course the CEO is market up and we will publish it uh, there is nothing to to say about that because we will we will see that in at market watch the market is up this is the the, the message okay so with text there is nothing remarkable but if we add an image we should add it in set feature image I was, as i clicked here so let's say let's look for some some uptrending market for example this is we set the feature image here and if if we update that information we see that uh, we have a we have a chart and we click it and have it a little bit uh, larger. Mm, the problem is that this it cannot be rightly seen. If you want that your reader uh, look at a proper uh, chart, uh, I will show you a trick to do that. And uh, the trick is this. Uh, for example, in the market is up for the day, we make it, uh, we will make a link in, in that. So if we let's say we set the feature Im image of the market and where is uh, the, this is the chart and you see in this case the url of the chart is marked here we copy it and we set the feature image after set the feature image for example i could do i could make this a link by clicking in the link and paste this this link and then decide if I want this to be open in a new tab or not. I, I decide to open a new tab and I, I have to make this in a, another color because it do, if not it makes it white but I can, I can make it in a color or, or in a ring color or in, a, in some kind of color I, I like. But I have to do a colorize of this 
of this link because I don't know what happens, but right now, if we don't color it, it appears white and cannot be seen. So I update it and we will see what happens after that. Go to Market Watch and this is as always that we can click that and see it grows a little bit. But if we click here, we get a magnified and good old chart. That's it.